Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony, here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is your weekly tarot energy reading for April 8th through the 14th, 2019. So I'm back at the weekly reading, you guys. I was very distracted with having to record videos every day for Manifest with me in March, but I'm excited to be back here with the weekly reading. I know so many, so many of you guys were asking, where is your weekly reading? I loved it so much, and I'm glad to be able to do this for you guys again. And so what we have here is the general energy for this week, the energy in your finances and career, the love energy for the week, and then just final messages from spirit or your spirit guides or your higher self or just anything else you need to know. So we're gonna get into it. The first card that we're getting is the Six of Pentacles. So with the Six of Pentacles energy, it's a really beautiful message about there being something in your life that's coming to harvest or coming to fruition. So this is saying your long-awaited fruits are ready for harvesting and there's a lot of wealth coming in. Maybe something that you didn't anticipate happening or maybe you're going to be getting a paycheck this week that's more than you thought or an investment is returned or some type of opportunity comes and it's a really bountiful time. It's a, a time of a lot of generosity and there's some resources coming in. So I feel like that's a beautiful message. Also, we are at the time in the moon cycle where it's a new moon and we're headed towards the first quarter moon. So this is a good time for you to write a list of your intentions, visualize your intentions, decide what you would like to bring in your life, set your goals, and start planning action steps so that when the first quarter moon comes towards the end of this week, next week, you're ready to take action. So beautiful energy we're starting off with this week. The next thing we have is the Daughter of Swords. So this Daughter of Swords energy is saying that you have been very honest and you have gotten to this point where you realize that there was something in your life that you needed to let go of. And this might have happened last week or over the weeks prior. So there was some kind of death cycle that was really rough for you. It was something that you were kind of frightened of doing for a while. Maybe there was a lot of drama surrounding you, but you realized there's something that needed to end or something that you needed to get closure with. And so for some of you guys, this might have happened voluntarily, this kind of death cycle or this thing that was lost or that you had to let go or move on from. Maybe it was something that just happened out, that seemed out of your control. For instance, being laid off of your job or being broken up with or something like that. And so this happened and for some of you guys it was voluntary you realize i need i need to let go of this habit or i need to let go of this thing that i'm doing or i need to distance myself from this person or group of people or this choice i made but for some people it happened involuntarily and so this is a message saying like you are going on the other side of this now and this week you're going to start to feel more of a positive transformation. So there's been a little bit of suffering that you've been experiencing or pain surrounding this situation. And I feel like with this Daughter of Swords energy, it's making me think about you <clears throat> speaking your truth and being frank about something that happened. Um, you were watching the situation and waiting for the right time. And like, you see this, this owl here has like this sword. It's like cutting away this pain or cutting away this burden or letting go of a detail that just wasn't serving you. And so you've been feeling a little spiteful about this for a little while, but I feel like this week you're kind of going to the other side of this transformation where you're allowing yourself to have more fun, where you're seeing how this is actually benefiting you in your life in some way or you're still able to enjoy yourself despite what has been happening with this drama or this situation. So I see the frustration surrounding this cycle that you went through recently, could have happened last week or over the past couple weeks. I see the drama kind of dissipating and I see your frustration around this situation kind of lessening. And I see you 
finding more peace in your life. So this week, you're gonna be experiencing a little bit more peace. There's gonna be opportunities for fun. You might catch yourself smiling or laughing where otherwise you would have been sad or crying. Um, I feel like this might be a very social week for some people because this otter here is a very playful, social creature. It's making me think about opportunities to connect with others or to participate in some type of celebration or to just have a friend over. So if you're feeling social, definitely open up to that energy. Um, and there's still part of you though, it's very up and down this week because there's this harvest coming in, but there's still part of you that's thinking about the injustice of what has happened. And it's some kind of heartbreak or some type of betrayal or um, maybe an issue with a person in general in your life could be family or coworker or an old friend or something um and i feel like this is still on your mind it's still on your heart and this energy is still around you this week but you're having a feeling like you can handle this or whatever happened was for the better or um maybe it's you can still look on the bright side kind of energy so, and this harvest is coming in to kind of take away the, the tension around this. I feel like it's a bittersweet time for some people this week, but there is some, there are some blessings to come. So let's move on to work. In your career, your finances, your work, you're getting to this place where you're feeling comfortable with what you have to offer. I feel like this week there's an energy around you of like confidence, the people you're working with are really respecting you. So you might um, be given a, a project to work on at your work um, or like a, a responsibility this week. Um, or you might notice that you're being treated better by your boss or you're receiving compliments. So there's a good energy around you at work. And I feel like you're in a good place. Like you're providing for yourself financially. A lot of you guys, remember this is a general reading, might not resonate with everyone, but some people will feel like you're in a pretty good place, especially with this harvest that's come in. But there's a hesitation this week. There's a hesitation because there's work that needs to be done in your career. There's this big project you've been given, or maybe there's some kind of side hustle you're trying to start, or you're working on a career transition. And even though everything's starting to align and resources are coming in and you're in a good position and um, that death cycle or that transition I talked about in the general reading is moving forward, there's still part of you that's worried about just climbing this mountain. It's like you're at the bottom and you're looking at the top of this mountain thinking, how am I going to get there? I've already done so much work already. So I think the message for this week is that you might be feeling kind of tired or worn down or like um, these cups aren't filled or there's there's just so much more to gain financially in your, and in your career but to remember to respect yourself and um, give yourself this week to set your goals and then next week no hesitating I feel like you're, you know you're being called to climb this mountain whatever this represents for you in your career with your finances but you're not quite ready. You're thinking like, what trail do I want to take? You're taking stock of your resources. You're like stretching, you're getting ready to climb the mountain. You're resting up, you're preparing, but this isn't the week to really like push for it, if that makes sense. Maybe wait till the first quarter moon, okay? But things are looking good around you in your career. Things are looking like you have your strength, you know what you're doing, you're, you're receiving more responsibilities or uh, more acknowledgement of the work you've done. There's some harvest that's come in. So it's time to like enjoy and be generous and celebrate your bounty before you set your sights on this next mountain or this next climb. It's like you got to the top of one mountain, but now you have to climb the next one. All right. So now we're moving on to the energy and love for the week. So what I see here is that for some people, you've met somebody new, like it has come through where it's just about to come through. And your heart is open to love with this new person because you guys really get along well. And for some of you guys, it's kind of funny because it might not seem like the right timing or maybe you were distracted with something else in your life and all of a sudden here's this person that you're connecting with or that you're flirting with and all of a sudden there's like this date you guys are gonna go on and you're like, whoa, this came out of nowhere. 
And, um, but I feel like you feel safe with this person. You feel ready for a restart or a rebirth in a relationship. Um, if this hasn't happened already, I feel like for some people, this is a message. This is happening. Like, yes, you're on the right path to love. Open your heart. There's a change coming. It's going to be really surprising, really fun. Things are moving forward. Even if it doesn't seem like it, you don't have anything to be afraid of. Um, anybody else who's just kind of looking for love out there, remember to continue releasing and healing the past so you can experience true love and open your heart to true love. So cutting cords, like doing meditations or um, writing letters to your ex, not sending the letter, burning it so that you can just release that energy. Or maybe if you're having a hard time in love, speaking with a licensed uh, therapist or counselor can help you work through that energy. Sometimes speaking with a professional can really help. We've been talking about that a lot lately on the channel about seeking professional help if you need it and not being ashamed of that, um, not giving in to sometimes the, the social stigma that is out there about counseling help. It can be very um, beneficial to you. So this is saying that um, you're moving forward in love. You're moving forward and you're not waiting around anymore for someone to come like rescue you from your situation or from your life because you're getting things under control and you're looking as at love is almost like the cherry on top to your already amazing life you're getting things moving forward you're not waiting for that knight in shining armor you're not putting all your eggs in one basket when it comes to like love and this other person's going to make me happy like you're just open to the experience and to the moment i feel like there's a really good energy around everybody's love life this week um People who are in a relationship, this message could be read as releasing the past. Maybe some things came up from the past because we just had that Mercury retrograde cycle. We just got out of that. And so sometimes in relationships that can bring up things that happened in the past or any fears you have about moving forward. And so I feel like you came out on the other side like more solidified with like where the relationship is, where you're headed, what your goals are as individuals and as a partnership. Um, this is saying like people who are in a relationship feeling pretty good about it. Like, yes, this is good for you. Um, maybe you thought that you wanted to leave this person or maybe we should break up, but like you're realizing you feel safe with them. You're realizing like things are moving forward and you can trust your heart. So I hope that that resonates. Um, only take what resonates. A lot of messages coming out for everyone who's watching. Let's go ahead and get the final messages for the week. So <clears throat> we're seeing this card here talking about entanglements. And I really think this had to do with the general message. Because remember we talked about this death cycle, cutting cords, or um, maybe some betrayal or something that happened that was like an injustice. The frustration of that how much it's been affecting you um, and this could be something that happened a while ago um, or maybe quite recently depending but it's like things are good things are still happening in your life your life is still moving forward even if you're not moving forward with this person or with this group of people and so you're finding you're getting grounded after going through some kind of drama with a relationship or a group of people or with family or an ex or something like that. And so it's like a lot of people are gaining their strength right now and they're finding their strength in their responsibilities in because the career looks like it's doing really well. And so I feel like this is saying responsibility is the ability to respond to what is happening in your life this situation came up and it needed your attention. Now, if it's not a relationship that we're talking about that you've been working through here, it might have just been some loss, something that was out of your control and your heart is healing. And so it's like you're learning how to continue to take care of your needs, how to continue to follow your dreams, how to maybe allow yourself to rest or to just go through this change while you're also kind of healing. And so I feel like this is managing your healing because the hard thing is that life goes on. Sometimes something tragic happens and it feels like the world just stops, but you still have bills to pay, you still have your job, or you still have you know, things that happen, or you still gotta make dinner or whatever, run the errands. And so it's like you're learning how to handle all of that while still meeting your needs, while still making time for yourself. So I feel like that's a message for a lot of you guys out there is just 
trying to juggle all these different things like it's a there's a lot happening emotionally right now but you're learning how to take that energy and how to like be there for yourself while also still reminding yourself just because this is happening or just because I'm going through this doesn't mean my whole life is screwed doesn't mean everything's gonna fall apart doesn't it feel like that sometimes <laughs> doesn't it feel like sometimes when something bad happens or like we're experiencing some negative energy we think we look at our life through those lens and we think everything's going to be horrible forever but there's this message that's coming out that's kind of cliche but it's like this too shall pass so this is the hope message for this week this week will give you hope and you'll find strength and um, you'll be grounding yourself in your strength and then there's this patience message. Some people, I think this has to do with love. Some people are hearing this message and they're single and they're like, maybe this week I'll meet someone. If it doesn't happen, just continue to have patience. Some people are having a really difficult time um, trusting in the divine timing of the universe, really pushing and resisting what is in your life. And sometimes you can't move forward until you master what is. So this is saying you'll be given the gift of patience this week. You'll learn to see the wisdom in waiting. Now this 10 of wands card is pretty cool. This is another final message for this week. The 10 of wands is cool because I feel like it's summing up everything. It's like there have been, like I mentioned, some mental or physical burdens that have been weighing on everyone's spirit. And so there has been a little bit of helplessness and a little bit of depression or sadness coming up. And you feel, a lot of us feel like we can't get through this situation. And I'll be honest, this week for me, like the past couple days and today, there has been some stuff for me kind of coming up that reminds me of this energy. And so it's actually kind of great to see, even though this card can be heavy, it's nice to see it because it means we're not alone. A lot of us collectively are experiencing these energies. And so this is saying like, yes, it was right for us to walk away from a certain situation or that we need to walk away from a situation. And um, we need to free ourselves from negativity and not walk the hard road. Sometimes there's an easier way. Sometimes there's a shortcut and that shortcut is our truth. And so it's letting go of people, places, things, situations that no longer serve us. Now, that doesn't mean that if you have a conflict with a person, you just walk away and you don't face it and you don't actually like resolve the conflict. But this is like, if you continue to have conflict over and over and over and over and it's like, and, and you feel like it's best to separate yourself from that energy, that's okay. You know, if, if there's an addiction that you have that you just keep going back to over and over and over again and you're not healing that or like, you know, seeking help for it, maybe this is the week that you decide to seek help, that you decide to work through it, that you decide to do something about it. Maybe there's an old trauma that's come up over and over and over again or you're pushing down and this is the week that you decide I'm going to find a way to get counseling, therapy, professional help, you know. Maybe there's just like some clutter in your house and you're like avoiding it <laughs> and, and it's just kind of giving you cluttered energy it's kind of frustrating you maybe this is the week you finally clean out the closet <laughs> meta uh, met as a metaphor or actually in real life so this is the card saying that there's something that needs to be done something that needs to be addressed you know what it is you can have the you have the ability to make this happen in a loving and peaceful way and to be able to go through it. Others of you guys have already done this and you know what I'm talking about and you're just, it's just like you're moving on. It's like you're on the other side, you're just processing it. So trust, trust yourself if that part of the reading resonates. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting week. It's, it's gonna be a little up and down, but I feel like everybody ends the week feeling really victorious and very creative. Um, this week is going to bring out our like romantic, our artistic side. We'll be feeling very inspired because change does create inspiration. And so something that's important for us, us this week is to stay grounded, to deal with any of the harsh realities that come our way in life. Um, you know, conflict sometimes can be disturbing, but we grow stronger and we get more strength 
from confronting our life head on, from responding to whatever's in our path. So that is the message for the week. I hope that resonates. If you're inspired to come back at the end of the week and let me know like if this worked out for you, if there's anything here that you're resonate, resonating with, leave it below. And I wanna remind you guys that this is a general reading for everyone who's watching it. There might be little bits of it that resonate. There might be little bits that don't. Trust yourself. And I wanna thank you guys for coming to my channel and I'll see you later. Peace out.